family of a four-year-old Janesville boy is getting a little bit of relief in their fight against cancer. It comes after a one-of-a-kind pep rally at a Rock County High School. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter has the story from our Bureau of the Janesville Gazette with how students worked to make this day possible. Adam? Well, Eric and Charlotte, students at Craig High School in Janesville have spent the last month and a half planning a very special pep rally. Today, they were able to finally celebrate all of that hard work. It's everything you would expect to see at a high school pep rally. The band, cheerleaders, students, and even the mascot. But today, the party at Craig High School isn't for the basketball team. It's for someone else. They just said, come to school, and um, they're having a pep rally, so I just was assuming I'd just come and kind of watch the pep rally. A one-of-a-kind celebration for Isaac Johnson. It's just incredible to see what uh, young kids can accomplish when they put their mind to something so positive. Isaac is only four, but he's spent nearly the last two years of his life battling neuroblastoma. His mom says he's done his best to stay positive. Even through all this, he's still a very good-natured little kid that um, loves to play with his brothers, play video games, superheroes, um, still likes to be a, a little boy. In the fall, resource officer Brian Foster presented the idea of helping Isaac to the student council. I met with them. And, I mean, in 10 minutes, they were on board and they had ideas to run with it. Throughout the month of December, students did whatever they could to raise money for Isaac, organizing penny wars, a winter bash, and, of course, today's pep rally, where they presented the Johnson family with the money they raised, nearly $10,000. I guess that's what keeps you going. You know, there's lots of lows in this and there's highs, and when you have those lows days, those are... Things like this is what you think about. For four-year-old Isaac, it was an opportunity to feel like a celebrity. For the students at Craig, it was a chance to meet someone they've been working so hard to help. And for both sides, it's a pep rally they won't forget. Now, Craig will continue to honor Isaac in February when they host Middleton in a basketball game. But as you two can probably imagine, the medical bills continue to mount for Isaac. And we do have a link on our website, channel3000.com, that will direct you directly to helping the family. Adam Dexter live in our Rock County Bureau tonight. Adam, thank you.